Hey, welcome back, guys. Um, a lot of people have asked me, how do you get a repair ticket uh, into Bitmain and get them to accept it real quick? It's actually pretty simple. You can get them to accept a repair ticket really quick. As you can see my machine here, this is an L3+. Plus. If you look at it, you notice there's, right here, there's a lot of zeros. Okay, well this is what happens when I turn the machine on. This is a machine I only had for less than a day before this started happening here. This is on board number two. Alright, so if you look at it, you come over here, and there's, it looked like that. After it was booted up for a couple minutes, we would get this. Or, hold on, I opened the wrong one there. Hold on a second. We would get this. See how they all X'd out. That means that board completely failed. Less than a few minutes on, 21 minutes, and that board completely failed out. And it was doing this since day one when I got the board. So what I did was I took a screenshot of this, which I already knew was required by uh, Bitmain in order to do a repair ticket. Then they also require this. This page here, they can actually tell if you've overclocked your machine just by looking at this one. Um, I don't know how they figured it out. I think it has to do with something in here somewhere. Or down here even. Might even be down here. Uh, but they can tell if you've overclocked your machine just by looking at that page so your best bet would be to reflash it and that's pretty simple you just go to Bitmain's website you grab the new file to um, re uh, flash the firmware and then you just go over to upgrade on the actual machine let me uh, pull up one of my machines and I can show you that real quick um, over here on this screen. So let me go to upgrade. So I'll go over to system. Go over to upgrade. And then what I do before I do anything is I'll generate a backup. So I'll just uh, perform a, uh, or uh, what do you call it, uh, uh, do a backup on this page right here. And then uh, after that, I'll go through and take the file that I downloaded from Bitmain, click on Choose File, go into my file program that I have on my computer, which I'm not going to go in there, choose the Bitmain file, and then just hit Flash Image, and it, it'll reset your system back to what it should say, and then it will actually uh, wipe out any of the information on here that they can detect. But when you go to take your picture of the miner's status, you will need to let it run for a while. Uh, so that way they know it's been running with the problem. So anyway, back to this. Um, so they're going to want a picture of your system overview page. So you just, when you log into your system, you click on system, go to overview. It'll bring this up, so you're going to want to screen, screenshot that. You're going to want to screenshot this. So that they can see the time it's been running, so on and so forth. And then I usually go back through. Or, or, and then they also want a picture of your serial number. See how it's right there. Okay. And then I will also go to the warranty check page, and I will do a warranty check and I'll take a screenshot of that and I'll submit it with my paperwork too. Now when I'm submitting the paperwork um, the way that you do that okay here's the Bitmain site real simple to submit the paperwork for it you go to support right up here at the top click on it and you'll bring up this page you'll go over to product support then you'll scroll down and choose your machine that you're reporting on. 
and I don't even mess with this anymore. What I do is I just, whenever I have a problem, I'll just go down to contacting support and it'll open this page. Right here where you submit a ticket or leave a message. So it's real simple, email address, subject, description. In the description you want to tell them that you've unseated and reseated every one of the cables for the card, um, that you've rebooted the machine, and that you reloaded the firmware. So you have to, you know, they're saying you have to reflash it before they'll consider a repair on the machine. So then you choose your your system, whichever one, since uh, L3 Plus isn't in there, you go to other, and then uh, you have to uh, go through uh, and choose repair issue. did something strange. Anyway, oh yeah, create a repair ticket. Boom. Okay. And then those pictures I told you about. Uh, remember those pictures? The warranty check. Okay. The serial number picture. Your hashboard showing where it's bad, how long it's been running, you know, so on and so forth. And of course I did the one beforehand showing how long it had been running, one minute and six seconds. So it took 20 minutes for this thing to X out completely. And it was already bad because see it's missing chips. Should be a full board. And on both ends of this it's missing chips. So uh, that makes it pretty, uh, pretty simple there. Um, now the good part about it is is you'll receive an email back from them real quick with usually within a day unless it's on the weekend then it'll be a little bit later that will uh, say uh, okay you have authorization to open the machine pull out the bad board and send it back into us and they'll say if you're in the United States we have a repair center in the United States is that you can send it to and uh, which of course I did <laughs> and then, um, uh, then uh, after that, uh, you send it into them, and you can actually let me pull this up real quick. Go to the Bitmain site here again. You can uh, go to the Bitmain site and actually pull up your tickets after you've sent it back to them. But in order to send it back to them, you gotta go to the support tab again. And then over this, this time you'll go over here to create a repair ticket. Boom, mine shows up in here because I've already sent one in for repair. But uh, you just go through and you go create a repair ticket. Da, 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 da. Taking a little bit to load. It's typical of it me. <laughs> um, usually their site's pretty flooded. I think they might have just released some more machines. But anyway, you go in here and you choose your courier, which I'm in the United States, but they don't have uh, United States Postal Service on here, so I choose other. Then for the tracking number, I put USPS, and then the tracking number. How many packs? Repair site, which Hong Kong or U.S., so in the U.S. or Canada, you'll send them to the United States, or Mexico, you'll send them to the United States. Anywhere else in the world, they're going to tell you to send them to Hong Kong. <laughs> kind of sucks for everybody else, I guess, but I guess California, or not California, but the United States is their, one of their biggest uh, purchasers of equipment. Um, of course, you've got to submit your ticket number. They'll give you that uh, in the email they'll send you. And then you can write in there, one hash board uh, for ant miner whatever l3 plus d3 whatever and then you'll go down here and you'll put in your type parts you'll choose your item du, du, du. You just gotta find it and they get quite a few things in here there you go hash board l3 plus the quantity which is one our order ID don't need to worry about that but just put in quantity of one like so 
And then uh, description, hash board number two, uh, L3 plus burnout, replacement part. And then, of course, it gives you all the, it'll go through and give you all the rest of the stuff, and then you just accept the terms and click submit. Pretty simple. And you can go to your repair tickets after that, and you can actually check on the status of them. Uh, since I just sent one in, it still says uncollected. So it hasn't quite been there, it quite got there yet, but you can go through and double verify everything, see? Ticket ID number, uncollected, da da da, what it is, and so on and so forth. Um, so, real simple. Uh, but uh, another thing you might want to do, um, you can actually go under support, because you, you're going to need to know how to do this too. It's real quick warranty check. That's how you warranty check your items. Just ask for the serial number. And you go and type the serial number in there. Let me pull that back up real quick. Uh, well, it's not in that file, so it's right here. Boom. When you type in your serial number, you'll get this. And if it's in green, you're okay. If it is in uh, red, that means you're out of warranty. Uh, so, and that really, really uh, helps get your stuff through it real quick because then they don't even need to even come close to double verifying it because uh, you've already they already know that you know <laughs> where to go to check your warranty and that it's good. Um, but other than that, that's it. I just thought I would give people an update. Oh, and to let you know. This is something that uh, might help a lot of you guys out too. Okay, you go to the to the machine, and it's this one. That's my L3 Plus, but you notice it's missing a board in there. One, three, four. So number two is not registering on there, and that's because I have it unplugged on the machine while the board's in for uh, getting uh, repaired and replaced while I'm still running the other three. So once you get permission to open that machine up, you can have or you can still plug that machine back in and hash without that board and at least not lose the profit from those three boards. You're still at least gaining with those three boards instead of losing the whole machine when you take that one board out of it. So any uh, other questions? Um, you can watch my other video, it shows you how to take the actual board out of the machine after you've gotten permission. Do not open your machine until you get permission or else you void your warranty that quick, that easily. So, any other questions, go ahead and uh, give, me a, uh, give me some feedback, give me some call, tell me, what you, tell me if there's anything else you want to know about. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, this is another cool little thing I, that I thought I would just show real quick. Okay. On this machine, found one block. Zero on that one. Twenty-three in that one. One in that one. Thirty-two. I, I think I'd have luck mining on my own at that point. Um, zero there. Zero there, zero, 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 zero. But uh, I'm kind of liking those machines. 32, 23, uh, that's some pretty good luck. Um, if you want to know which pool I'm mining at, uh, go ahead and uh, look in the comments. Um, I'll leave a referral link in there. So you can join that pool, and that pool is actually very... Uh, I, it's uh, it's a, one, the best pool I've ever been in. Um, I'm actually making almost twice per day as to what I made in any other pool I'd ever been in. So yeah, go ahead and um, go ahead and uh, leave some leave me some comments. Join the pool I'm in. I'll leave you the referral link. Yeah, I think you'll like it. Yeah, you'll probably benefit a lot from it. All right, have a good day.